Ugh. Yikes. All right, let's get it fixed. What's up guys, George, you're watching Adventure GT. Today I'm back with another video. So some time ago I did the trailer hitch for this car, the retro kit. Sweet, I loved it. Um, I've used it, definitely worked. But in the process of doing that, I accidentally let my bumper slip a couple times. It rolled over on me and I damaged the corners, chipped the paint away, and um, it kind of looks bad now. So during the winter time, I actually went ahead and bought a product that I intended to use but never got around to it. Um, I wanted to wait till the weather was a little consistently warm and this week has been just great. So today I have this Mopar product. It is one of these touch up pens. It is specific to the Renegade color and hyper green. It is really sweet. If you guys haven't used one before, I recommend using something like this. A lot of people use them for rock chips on their bump front bumper, um, door dings, you know, any reason you need to touch up your paint they have these things for and the really sweet thing is the back of the package it shows you the different ways to use it and how it's used and we'll discuss that as we do this but my intention today is to touch up those two pieces even though people that walk by it may never see it I will and that bothers me so let's see if this works let's give it a try okay so before we actually start getting into it let's look into this pen first so like I said I've had this for a couple months now and the the box is a little crushed and it's been thrown around, but the pen still works. Okay, what we have here is the pen. So the top of the pen, this tip here, is more like a, a rough brush almost. It is meant to hit the isolated area, remove any blemish, any um, debris, rust, and that's the whole point of this tip. Inside of here, here would come out the paint if you want to do little pieces. You kind of just push on it push on it push on it until some paint comes out but if you need more than just a little dab of paint you have this piece right here we'll actually have a brush with the paint and then you have this down here which would be your clear coat on a little sponge yeah so after you paint it give it some time to dry and then we'll throw it some clear coat like I said, the box here shows you the diagram, what you need. Each little arrow tells you exactly what it's for. So it's really handy and it's really nice. It's uh, very user friendly. Now with enough said, let's go ahead and touch this up. Before we use this, remember to always clean your area first. All right, so as you can see, right here is the affected area. But when wiping it down, I noticed that I had a little bit right there as well. So we're gonna touch this up first. You really wanna use this pointed edge to really just kind of dig in there. See how I'm already starting to scrape off stuff? Think of this as like a, one of those magic erasers. And really try to just stay in the affected area. Try not to hit the paint too much. But the whole point of this is so the paint will stick to the car a little better. Okay, I'll do the same thing the other side and then we can start painting it. Remember to shake it for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna elect to use the pen side. So we'll see how this works. There we go. So as you see, you gotta push it in some to get paint. There you go. Touch it there, get it all around affected area it's pretty good I do a little bit up here okay let me do the other side okay I call that good we're gonna give it a few minutes for it to dry and then we can hit it with the clear coat. Okay guys, so I recommend you let it wait for about a half hour and then you could either come back and hit it with some more paint or hit it with the clear coat. So I think one coat is good enough. We covered up what I wanted. So now we're gonna take out, put on the clear coat. So I just kind of dab at it with the little sponge here and let it cover it up. 
Perfect. I'm just going to hit this top a little bit. And then I'm done on this side, move on to the other side. Same thing on this side. Hit it with that clear coat, a little bit up here. Yeah, perfect. Now I'll let it dry, and I think we'll be done. Check it out guys, it looks better than what it was. I waited another half hour. I probably could have hit it with some more paint, but you know what? From back here, the further I go back, you can't even tell. Same thing with this side. There a little scuff. I decided just to leave the scuff since it wasn't anything too crazy. It was more worried about the actual chip. But this side was definitely the worst of it. Now it's kind of hard to tell. Honestly, I kind of lost it for a second. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's not as obvious as it once was. But overall, I'm happy with it. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. If you also have a Hyper Green Renegade, you're going to want this exact pen. So you can pretty much find these anywhere, eBay, Amazon. I know CJ Pony Parts have that as well. But what matters is the code, the number. This one is the Mopar PJK, and it's number 0610286-4AA. That's the number you're going to want. I'll flash it here in front of you guys so you can see it. That's what you're going to want. Very simple, easy to use, very user friendly. You guys cannot really mess this up unless you just open this thing up upside down and drop all the paint. Don't do that. That, that wouldn't be good. But with that said, guys, thanks for watching this video. It was just a short, quick, simple, easy video that I've been wanting to do for a while just to kind of show you guys this product. And maybe you guys want to use the same thing. Hopefully you do. I will find a link and I'll put it on the bottom of this video. I mentioned my trailer hitch. I will tag it at the end if you guys want to see that video. And, um, that's all I had. This is George. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.